Hi everyone, I'm Mike Fibus here for the Analog Garage. And today we've got Mario Frini, a business development manager at the garage. Mario, thanks so much for joining us. Glad to be here, Mike. Now, biosensing is an increasingly strategic area for the analog garage, and for good reason. It's not only the right time, but uh, you're also in the right place, aren't you? Yeah, certainly. Uh, being here uh, in the heart of Kendall Square, as you know, and, and as most people know, it's, it's the sort of biotech hub of the world, really. And so we've sort of naturally gravitated towards um, trying to find partnership companies, uh, partner companies in the biosensing realm. And, and there's certainly a plethora of them in the immediate area here. So, yeah, so with myself, especially, I've, I've gravitated towards, uh, towards biosensing as a way to um, sort of expand our, our offering, uh, you know, on the technology side and on the product side by incorporating some of the IP uh, that these uh, these partner companies have, and then proliferating, you know, um, the technology through different business units in the company to drive additional revenue. Yeah, I mean, tell us why yeah. it's so important right now and what you're trying to solve. Yeah, sure. So there's a whole host of, um, you know, uh, technologies that before now uh, couldn't have been, you know, uh, realized um, for instance, you know, some of these new techniques uh, that are coming to, into play with some of the research that's stemming from, uh, from university, whether it be MIT, you know, Harvard, VU, Northeastern, or what have you. Uh, I'll give you an example, sort of make it concrete, uh, like a chemical uh, or bacteria detection platform, where typically you'd have to take a sample and bring it back to the lab and run it through a big piece of uh, expensive equipment and maybe, you know, at best case, a couple hours later, worst case, you know, a day later, you get the results, right? Um, so you want to do that more real time. Uh, the electronics and, and uh, just the process uh, uh, improvements can make it so that you can use, you know, let's say nanotechnologies using carbon nanotubes or, or nanowires or what have you uh, as a basis and, and uh, to try to determine whether there's some sort of gas, uh, you know, presence or bacteria presence or what have you, and a more in a handheld, you know, sort of real time way, and that can that has applications across all different sorts of uh, of industries and markets, as you can imagine. So hospitals, for instance, that want to do real time bacteria detection, so that you know, one of the leading leading causes of death in hospitals is is people, you know, catching infection, right? So if you can kind of if you can, if you can have some sort of methodology to detect those things sooner and in a more real-time way, uh, the better off everybody will be. So, really, our focus is to try to foster these these sorts of uh, new technologies that these startups um, are, are are working on and get them out into the world. Really, that's that's the end game for us. Um, so, yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's pretty good. Uh, it's good work. It's fun work, and uh, you know, it's meaningful at the end of the day as well. Especially these sorts of biotech uh, technologies that we're trying to proliferate into the real world. That's, uh, that's really great. Thank you so much for joining us and taking the time and sharing your insight. I really appreciate it. All right, great. Happy to do so, Mike. Take care. All right, you too.